If you have been having issues playing Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 with an Xbox controller, as the game have it registered as a keyboard input, this is a tutorial on how to easily fix it. At least this works on Steam Deck, so you may want to give this a shot on PC as well. So if you play the game with the Steam Deck by itself, um, it works just fine. You may have noticed this. Even the menu are responsive. But as soon as you switch to a controller, now it becomes recognized as a keyboard and suddenly many inputs don't work anymore. So if you want a quick fix for this, it's actually pretty simple. First off, quit the game. Go to the settings, properties, and then head to controllers right here. And as you can see here, it asks you how it's handling the Steam input system. And for this game, by default it is on use default settings. And as you can see, it's enabled for everything. Switch this to disable Steam input. And that's it. So with this manipulation, we have made it so the Steam Deck can now only use one controller at a time with this game. Which means that if I boot up the game with the Xbox controller, only this controller will be able to control the game and it still works just fine if you don't have any controller plugged in or have the Xbox controller connected. So here is the game. As I mentioned, no more input from the Steam Deck. But uh, the input we are really counting on being the controller works just fine. So if I use the joystick, it is recognized as the controller. And I can move everything. This works. I'm playing one handed, so I won't be able to do this fine. But yeah. There we go. I hope this will help you enjoy the game more. And yeah, thanks for watching.